We have a very casual mystery box unboxing today. I picked this up from the bomb. I got an email notification that said that they're going to be doing the mystery boxes in two sizes. I picked up the bigger of the two sizes. So this one was 75. I think the smaller box was like 45. I'm not exactly sure. If the boxes are still available, I will definitely drop the links down below so you guys can check them out. I'm a little bit disappointed in the packaging. The Balm does really cute like vintage kind of themes. They could have done something like that with the mystery box as well, but alas. We just have a plain old cardboard box, nothing to write home about. As you can see, I've also like, you know, not opened this at all. It's still sealed, so it's going to be just as big of a surprise to me as it is to you. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox the box and then we're going to do like a little try on haul when it comes to mystery boxes we kind of know that most of the time they're just trying to get rid of products i'm fine with that where the bomb is concerned i have a liquid lipstick and i also have a face and eye palette that's it so chances are anything that's in this box is going to be new to me i will say that the packaging is pretty lightweight so i'm not expecting any like really fancy palettes or anything in here. I spoke too soon. This is what the actual box is looking like. This is so cute. Oh my word. Yeah, this is what I was hoping for. This nice vintage themed packaging going on. I stopped the camera to take a quick thumbnail so my hair might be looking a little bit different. We have this little pink card. It says, you have fabulous taste. Share your looks at the bomb and hashtag the bomb or so. You can share it on social media and you put hashtag the bombers to show off what you got in your box. First of all, it looks like we had a little palette all wrapped up in bubble wrap. Double crosser, highlighter, bronzer, and blush. By the way, I'm only wearing my base product. So foundation, concealer, powder, brows. It's the only thing that I have on. So I wanted to try some things that was in the box. Hopefully this is going to be my color. All right, so that bronzer should work for me. It's called Noon Bronzer, and we have a highlighter and a blush as well. We are off to a good start. We have the Schwing Liner. I've actually emptied this. I never repurchased this because it was one of the liners that wasn't really one of my favorites. Um, I don't think I'm going to use this. I'm just going to put this away in either a giveaway or give it to a friend. Like I said, it wasn't one of my favorite liners, so I don't want to crack it open and, you know, put it to my eyeballs. I don't remember exactly how many items are supposed to be in this box. I think it was eight, if I'm remembering correctly. Then we have the Stainiac. This is a tint lip stain. The shade is in Beauty Queen. I have never used one of the lip stains from the brand, so we might give this one a try today. We also have the Mascara, the Balm Nuit Black Mascara Vegan Clean Beauty green packaging so the whole thing can be recycled. I have used this ma mascara before and I did enjoy it so I'm kind of glad to have it again. Next we have one of the Meet Matte Hughes liquid lipsticks. I've actually been wanting to get some more of these. This shade is in Committed. Looks like it's a soft pink. Oh that is pretty. We might use this one today. And that is everything in the box. So basically we got one, two, three, four, five. Really? That's it? I'm a little disappointed. So you're telling me the big box, there's only five items in it. All right. So I pulled up the website because I was a little bit confused. I was pretty sure that the big box contained eight items and the smaller one contained five. I ordered the $75 box, which was supposed to have eight items. What they sent me was the smaller box that only had five. So I paid $75 but got the $49 box instead. So yeah, I will be emailing them because they owe me three more products. I am not happy about this at all. I'm actually quite annoyed. I don't think that's ever happened in my life where I ordered one size mystery box and they sent me something else. So we will definitely be emailing customer service because they owe me three more products. Yeah, I, I'm... Girl, we're not happy right now. You know, you don't send me the smaller box when I paid for the bigger box. I basically paid twenty six dollars extra to get the yeah. So yeah, we will be emailing customers. Quick.
quick little update. I did get in touch with customer service. I emailed them as soon as I was done filming the video. I never got a response back through email, but I did finally get in touch with them through their online live chat feature on their website. They said that they would be shipping me the products that were missing from my box. I was told that they made a new tracking number. So, you know, maybe it was an accidental error. Maybe the person that was packing the box just grabbed the wrong box when they shipped it to me. I don't know, but hopefully I will actually get the products that I'm missing. And yeah, I will, I will let you guys know. Since we're already here, let's go on ahead and do a try on with the products that I do have. I might just go ahead and just do a full face just using this one eyeshadow and everything. So first of all, let's go on ahead and do the bronzer. I'm just going to use a fluffy dome brush. This is usually what I would use for bronzer. And we're going to go ahead and apply this. A little bit light, but it works. I don't I don't think I've ever used the bronzer formula from the balm before. Now we're gonna go into the Madame blush. It's a very pretty soft, simple pink. It's a really pretty formula. Looks like it's matte with maybe a satin matte, because it looks like it does have just a slight bit of glow to it. I'm gonna take my highlighting brush and we're gonna go into Wow, which is the highlighter. Let's go on the cheek. Oh, that's very bright. <laughs> I may have gotten just a little too much. I'm gonna get my sponge and just kind of pat down some of that shine. <laughs> Woo! Wow is definitely for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and take Madam and just put that all over my lid as shadow. And then we'll just take the bronzer and maybe put it into the, the outer corner. Now I'm gonna take the bronzer and just kind of out of corner into the crease, just very quick and simple. For lips, we're going to throw on the Meet Matte Hughes Liquid Lipstick. I don't really want to deal with the lip stain today. I'm going to throw on my ColourPop Lip Pencil in Bumble. That's pretty. I really do like the Meet Matte Hughes formula. It's creamy, it's smooth, it's comfortable. There's like a slight kind of a minty to, mintiness to it. Like it's plumping, even though it's not actually plumping. That's going to be it for this video. I'm not even going to bother throwing on liner or lashes. I'm just, I am not very happy right now. I am going right now to go uh, right to customer service to let them know that they owe me three uh, items because I am not paying for a $75 box and you have only sent me the $49 box. That's just not acceptable, not okay. Yeah, we, we will be dealing with this. Um, hopefully you guys are having a much better day than I am right now. Um, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed this like weird um, not getting what you're supposed to get that you paid for unboxing, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would consider going my little family and hitting subscribe and make sure you tap that bell so that you do not miss a thing. You can also follow me on my other socials. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.